Yo, what is up guys? My name is Chris Lee. Welcome back to another League of Legends video. Today I'm making a guide for Volibear top lane and the reasoning being is that he got buffed extremely hard recently. Volibear is now a very strong pick for both top and jungle, especially in lower elos. But in my opinion, the champion can work all the way up to higher elos as well. Volley's strengths as a champion lies in the fact that he has really good base damage and HP scalings, making him into a big damage threat while building very heavily towards survival. Survivability. However, if you are snowballing very hard, you can also build towards a bruiser build and you can almost one-shot squishes whilst still being able to win most 1v1s and teamfight pretty well as well. But before we get more in-depth with the item builds, let's quickly cover his skill max order and rune setup. As for skill order, you max your ultimate into W, into E, into Q most of the time. The only potential change up is what spell you max third. E is generally the better choice due to the increased wave clear and damage, but Q is better for catching up to enemies and is therefore better to max third in two different scenarios. One, if you are really ahead in the 1v1 and win all all ins whilst also being able to easily outpush your opponent, since in this scenario all you want to be able to do is connect with the enemy laner. The second scenario is if the lane phase ends very early due to all the tier 1 towers going down and therefore you will be running around the map a lot more and get a lot more value out of maxing your Q third. As for the room pages for Volibear, you basically want to go into the resolve tree as your primary tree. You would grab either Grasp of the Undying or Aftershock. Aftershock is probably a bit better right now, but it will get nerfed in the next patch, uh, or at least this nerf is on the PBE right now. So I would kind of recommend to start using Grasp a bit more, but both of them are actually really good. After this, on the second row, you grab Bone Plating, because this rune is super strong. It got introduced in the recent patch 8.4, and it is a really strong rune, so use it on most tank champions or even bruisers. On the third row, we go into second win most of the time. It works really well with Volibear's kit, because you kind of want to get to low HP sometimes to get your passive proc, and second wind is stronger the more health you're missing, so it kind of works out really well. If you're against a matchup where you're really afraid for the all-in, you can grab either Mirror Shell or Iron Skin for the armor MR, but um, I would most of the time recommend second wind. On the last row, we take Revitalize because it increases our passive healing and it's super strong. I guess if you're facing a Maokai or a Malphite or something that is quite weak in lane, you could also go Overgrowth to stack some extra max HP, but overall Revitalize is the better choice. As for our secondary tree, we go into Precision, and here we grab Triumph and Coup de Gras. You could also grab Last Stand, it really depends on the matchup, but Triumph is really good on Volibear because it gives him a lot more HP in fights if you get assists or kills, which is super good, and Coup de Gras helps you finish off kills with uh, your W damage with skills with the enemy's uh, missing health. You could also go Last Stand if you play a very bloody lane where the enemy is going to do a lot of damage to you, so you will be low HP most of the time, but uh, it's either one of the, those two, but Triumph is a must for Volibear in my opinion. The reasoning why you take precision and secondary is that way you get the extra attack speed and attack speed works really well with Volibear's kit overall. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you go Grasp of the Undying or Aftershock, all of the other runes will still be the exact same, so basically the two alternatives you have with the runes are either Grasp of the Undying or Aftershock. Generally, if you think that you're gonna be teamfighting a lot, Aftershock is better, and if you think you're gonna be splitting a lot, then Grasp of the Undying is better. As for the build on Volibear, you will most of the time want to rush Sunfire Cape, and if you're against an AP opponent, you rush Bummy Cinder into Spectral Scowl, and then if you need the extra more, you can finish either Spirit Visage or Adaptive Helm, or if you don't, you can finish the Sunfire Cape for extra wave clear. Basically, with Volibear, you wanna do a standard full tank build, but what's really important is that you for second or third item go Righteous Glory, because because that item is super important for Volibear, both the mana, which he's quite mana hungry, and also the increased movement speed. So a standard build for Volibear would be something like Ninjas or Mercs depending on the game, Sunfire Cape, Spirit Visage, Righteous Glory, Randuin's Omen, and then finishing off with a Warmog's Armor. As for the Bruiser build, you still go Ninja Tabis or Mercs, then you either rush Trinity Force or Titanic Hydra, and then you build the other. After this you go into Sterk's Cage, and then you go for the resistances, such as Spirit Visage or Randuin's Omen. 
Keep in mind, I would not recommend the Bruiser build most of the time. It's quite risky, because even if you're ahead in early game, once you get the slightest behind, you will be completely useless. But if you commit to the Bruiser build, you wanna make sure that you split push a bit more than with the full tank build, but if you are super ahead, you can probably even make flanks work. Basically, you push your lane, and then you try to roam where the enemy does not have vision, and you run behind and go into the enemy squishies. Because if you have Trinity Force, Sterex, and Titanic Hydra, you will most likely one-shot the enemy carries. As for how to play Volibear and when to pick him, I would avoid picking Volibear into the likes of Camilla and Fiora, because it's really hard to get on them and kill them in lane, and they basically outscale you due to their insane damage threat on the enemy carries. I would pick Volibear into Immobile Champions or Tanks top lane, and you wanna make sure that you look out for all the other roles as well, because if the enemy team has a lot of mobility, Volibear loses a lot of his value, and he will become quite useless later on. Basically, try to pick Volibear into tanks top lane, uh, squishy champions top lane, and champions that do not have much mobility in other roles. As for how to play Volibear, you wanna make sure that you get an early advantage, because he's super strong in the early game. After the laning phase ends, it really depends on what sort of build you're going for. I would say that split pushing is fine with Volibear if you're in a good matchup, but if you're against a Camille or Fiora, you kinda have to commit to the grouped fights, but this should not be a problem, because Volibear is actually really useful in fights, but it kinda depends on comp, and that's why it's really important to pick Volibear in the right scenarios. Basically with Volibear, as long as you keep up in farm and you're really far ahead of your enemy laner, you should be in a really good position to win the game, because the champion right now is overall really solid, he deals a lot of damage and is extremely durable, so you can push your lane, take the enemy jungle camps without being that threatened, because th if they collapse on you it will take so long to kill you that your teammates can probably arrive, or you will push so much pressure to the side lanes that your team can take Baron or something like that, and if you're against a really good split pusher, you can always just group with your team and go for those team fights. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I would definitely recommend to pick Volibear in your rank games, especially if you're diamond or below, but other than that, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.